Hi guys, I am Marlene and I am the content creator for Living Your Best Life. Welcome if, if you are new to the channel and if you're re returning, welcome back. So today I'm going to just do a story time. Um, this story time was, let me see, this story time when I was in a little bit after high school. And I was, you know how like when you're in high school and you get out and you're going through this whole like I'm an adult liberation time. So I was going through that in my life and people who I thought to be friends in my life and they just, I don't know. I feel like they just started treating me differently, like after they got out of high school, like um, not inviting me to certain things like events, parties, so and so, because I guess I wasn't a high school friend anymore. And I also didn't go to college straight from high school. I took uh, the summer off and then went like the August to school. So I was starting to see a lot of things that was like not right. Like they weren't treating me nice. They wouldn't return my phone calls. Um, they would have parties and I would find out about it afterwards. And I just got sick of all of the, all of that, all of the drama. So I basically was just going out by myself, having my own version of fun and doing things. And when they saw that I was like living and enjoying my life, like they started getting jealous talking about me behind my back and saying, oh, I think I'm all that. No, I thought I was enjoying my life. I was being an adult. I was enjoying myself. And sometimes people think that they you can't live without them. And that was like a uh, first time I had learned that life lesson, like, and took my power back when I realized I don't need them. Like I'm my own friend. And if they don't want to hang out with me, then they don't deserve me. And that's one of the first times I felt like my power, I felt strong and stuff like, okay, I'm staying away from the drama. I'm still having fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying life. And, you know, I was just, I was over it. And I want that for you guys. Why I wanted to tell this story time is because a lot of times in life, people are doing wrong things to us. They're mistreating us, uh, talking about us behind our back or sometimes to our face or not treating us good the way that we deserve. And we keep allowing things for too long. We keep letting people do this and do that. And then you like make excuses or maybe they're tired or maybe this or maybe that. Or even worse, if it's family. Um, we think that family, that they can do whatever to us. And that is not true. There is no like, a, um, what, what, it, what I want to say, like there is nothing that one person and a family member can do that's different. Everybody is in the same category. Everybody should be treating you with respect kindness, love, and support. And if you're not getting that, then it's time to let those people go. So back to my story time, I was, uh, like I said, I was seeing them come by, you know, they would come by my house, like not even respecting me enough to like, give me a heads up. They would just like show up um, where I lived or they'd be like, um, can you be ready in five minutes? We're going so-and-so. So like they were, it was like a disrespect thing. And then I heard that they were talking about me behind my back. And at the time, a person that I liked, one of the girls in my crew started to talk to him and wanted to go out with him. So I didn't like that so much. So what I did is I knew that they were going to go somewhere. So I just went out without them. I was like, I'm not waiting for them. I'm not waiting for the drama. So when I got to the mall and at the time, you know, we didn't have the cell phones and all of that stuff. It wasn't like big yet. I think at the time it was pagers. So I got a page uh, like, where are you? And I called back the number and I was like, I'm at the mall already. So I, they didn't know because I guess, you know, they didn't have a cell phone. So I saw them already there at the mall. So they're trying to find out where I was and how come I wasn't there and stuff, but they didn't know. I already saw them and I started following them around the mall. 
just to see what they were doing. And do you know, I, I, I got to keep this PG, that girl was at the mall with the guy that I like. I was done. I was done with her. I was done with that crew because I, I just feel like it's a standard. Like you don't treat your friend like that. No matter how you how much you feel or how much you like somebody, you just don't do that to a friend. So I was already done with her. And then on top of that, they would go out without me. They were being disrespectful. They were being rude. So what I did is I deleted the phone number. I deleted the phone number um, from my, what is it called? My little black book. Remember back in the day, who remembers? You used to have your black book of all your phone numbers. So I just scratched it out. Like uh, It's not like today where the cell phone where you actually deleted the phone number. That was the first time in my life I felt like free and like I had my power because I was like, I'm not dealing with her anymore. I'm not dealing with people who disrespect me anymore, treat me inferior, talk about me behind my back. Especially if you're a person on the move and you're trying new things and stuff, people will say things like, oh, you think you're all that. No, I know that. And that intimidates people because they may just be walking into it, but you have already claimed it and have put it on and that's who you are. So yeah, I deleted them and I said to myself, you know, you are deleted from my life and I have never looked back. And the funny part is that years later, I have seen them and they're like basically the same person that they were 10, 15 years ago. They haven't made any progress in their life. You know, they haven't tried new things, enjoyed their life and had new experiences and not saying that everybody is the same, but sometimes we think certain people should be in our life, but sometimes people are holding us back from our potentials, our dreams, our joy, because they're blocking our blessings. So the lesson here is don't let people block your blessings. Don't let people disrespect you, treat you inferior. You deserve to be treated and held to a higher standard because you are somebody special. So that's been my story time, guys. I am Marlene and I am the content creator for living your best life. Has something like this happened to you in your life? Have you deleted them? Let me know that down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe and to join my channel membership. Leave me a comment in the comment section below, guys. I would love to hear from you. And I will see you guys on the next story time video or live stream. Bye-bye, guys. Be encouraged. Be inspired. Be yourself. You will survive.